Alright, hello everybody, this is AR Videos, and it's time for another Java programming tutorial. Today, we'll be going over how to get user inputs, so now your programs will actually be useful. So the first thing we'll have to do is something called an import statement. So we just type import, it should turn up purple because it's a reserved word in Java. So then we say import Java dot util dot scanner capitalized, it must be capitalized, then just semicolon. And don't worry, all um, computers come with this package. You don't have to download it. And then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a scanner object. Now, I haven't talked about objects because we haven't gotten into classes. But for now, just remember this. So scanner, we have to do capital scanner. Then the name, you can do like scan or read or whatever you want. We're just going to do scan. And equals new. New should be purple. Scanner. And then we're going to type in parentheses system dot in like that. And that creates a scanner object. And this is what we're going to use to retrieve our user input. Let's just compile to make sure it's working. All right. Next, what we're going to have to do is we'll obviously need a prompt for the user. So let's make a system dot out that print line statement. And let's say what is your age and space okay like that all right then do another system that out that print line statement except in this one type in the name of your object which minus scan dot next and depending on what we're doing next line or next int next line is for strings next int is for integers obviously since we're doing age, we should probably do next int. And then blank parentheses, then of course close the system dot print line statement. So what this will do is whatever input the user puts in as their age will print out next. But of course this is useless. So let's try to use conditionals and loops to make this program usable. So let's see. Um Let's set age equal to a variable. So let's make a new int, int age, like that. And we'll just say age equals scan dot next int. And then that's it. And now we'll say if age is less than 18, dot out dot print line, you are young. And else dot, uh, dot print line, you are an adult. I, oop, what happened? Oh, missed a semicolon. So let's try it out then. 17, you are young. 45, you are an adult. All right, now... Um, you obviously we're not just going to run the program to get one input. We might, the user might want to enter several inputs. So we're going to use a while loop to make it repeat the program until the user tells it to stop. And obviously you're going to need to use this for almost all programs. So let's first make a variable. I'm calling it again. And what this will do is it will keep a while loop running until it receives another value that tells it to stop. So we'll set again equal to one. So while again equals one, let's repeat this line of code. So it will just keep repeating until again is not one. So just before that bracket, let's get some more user input. So we'll say again equals scan dot next int because it's an int. And then that's it. And then what we're going to have to do is if again not equal one, then break. And break, like we talked about earlier, was that it would stop a loop. So, ooh, what happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No double. So let's see, what is my age? 17, you are young. Oh, oh, I forgot one stupid thing. 
how are they gonna know what question you're asking if you don't print it out? It would just be a blank line. So let's say, would you like to run again at one? Yes. Two. No. No. That would help. 17, would you like to run again? Yes. What is your age? 45. You're an adult. Would you like to run again? No. And there we go. And that's it. That's basically all you have to do for user import. Import this statement and then create an object and use the, one of the methods of that object. Again, I'll talk about this all later when we discuss classes. And basically you just use that and just print out your question, get the input. And that's it. But of course, you guys are still probably lost with all of this. So in later videos, we'll be talking about classes. In my next video, we'll be talking about arrays. But maybe after that, I'll get you guys into classes. Other than that, like, comment, rate, and subscribe to AAR videos. And I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.